Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Cece and I am a reseller on Poshmark. And right now I'm in Minnesota visiting. That's where I'm from. I'm visiting for the holidays. So of course I've been going to the Goodwills locally, basically just the Goodwill outlets. So yesterday on Wednesday, today's Thursday, I went back to the Brooklyn Park Goodwill outlet at one o'clock. The other day I had gone at nine in the morning. It was pretty, pretty busy. I went at one. It was extremely busy. Check out all that clothing and all those people. I'm here in the afternoon and it is way busier. Super way busier in the afternoon than it was in the morning when I came yesterday. It's about 12.31 and there's a new shoe rotation about to come out as well as a whole new aisle of bins over there. So it's crazy busy, but fun. And I got a lot. I got a huge Vera Bradley suitcase there at the bins to put it all in. I got that and I got another Roly, and they charge differently for those, so I paid $10 for those. But um, I'm going to show you what I got. I think I found some neat pieces. So I got another sack roots bag. I just sold one of these last week, or a bag by this brand. It's just a crossbody kind of double handle tote, clean interior. I got a Minnesota Gophers hoodie. It's so cute. I might keep this for myself. It's size large. It's a super soft cotton. And yeah. Then I got uh, just a little, the sack, a little lunch bag. It has a like a slot here, I guess, if someone had a security bag or whatever. It's absolutely clean on the inside. Super light. This bag is really saturated on Poshmark. I, Got it to put things in because it was so busy yesterday there weren't any carts until like a little while after I'd been there so I was gathering all these totes. But the brand is Mally and Lily and it's just kind of a canvassy abstract animal print duffel bag with a crossbody strap. It's cute. I could use it for the gym or for going to class back home so I picked that up. A lot of these things I'm finding here are actually, I'm keeping some of them for myself. Like this is a Hollister hooded it has like a sweatshirt hoodie material hood and it's a denim jacket and I got this on when I was there on Tuesday and I have not been able to come up out of it I love it so much so we'll see I might like keep that for myself then I got this this was a Macy's promotional item by the makers of Swiss Army Knife the brand says Victor Inox but it's just a little tote then I got this Andy Warhol tote so it does have some well, I'll show you the front first. So it's got these butterfly prints, and then it's got some Andy Warhol text on the strap. It's starting to wear off a little bit. I've got a little bit of like a coffee stain up here. But yeah, Andy Warhol, it's just a canvas tote, and it's from the Andy Warhol Foundation. So I did a cursory overview. Those do, the ones in good shape do really well. I'll have to see if I can clean this up. There's nothing that I can do about that peeling on the strap. Like that's just, it says Happy Bug Day 1954, New York City Loop, Andy Warhol. So yeah, that's a very cute piece. Then I got all these bags. This is, that's just what I have up top. So this brand was new to me, Katori. It's just kind of like a boho crossbody bag. It's got little shells actually embroidered on the bag. I know the lighting here is not ideal, I'm sorry. And then the strap was what really caught my eye. It's just it's super colorful and nice like that. I got this North, I tried to look these up because I wasn't sure about it. It's a burnout hoodie from the North Face. And it's got a little stain on the back here, right there. It's a men's size medium. Um, North Face hoodies do okay. I mean, the North Face is absolutely saturated on Poshmark. But I like the burnout effect on that and the color, so I went for it. I'm really not sure how it's going to do. Then this was, so Lewin Gray used to sell well for me. I didn't do comps, but I did pick this up because it was new with tag. The original price was $54.50, but it's Lewin Gray for loft. So it's a nice, just kind of white textured pullover shirt. I think this is the kind of thing that people can wear as we go into spring and the season changes or even like for January or February because it's got a little weight to it, but the texture is nice. So this I got for the old money or 
quiet luxury aesthetic. It doesn't have any brand, but it put me in the mind of St. John. It's just a cardigan. It's got those kind of regal gold buttons, but there wasn't a tag in the neckline. There's no tag inside, but it's a good quality stretchy material. And it just screams old money aesthetic. So I did grab that. Then I got this hat. There were several hats similar to this. They were all like together in one bin, but this was the most quality one. I can tell this is wool. It just is the kind of thing, I'm not gonna put it on because my hair is already messy, but um, it's like that in a nice little neutral color mix. Then this was an excellent piece. So when it was in, I was in a new rotation and everyone really lines up there like there's just rows and rows of bins, but um, the brand is Todd Sydney, New York. Excuse me, Todd Snyder, New York. It's a men's size medium, but it's just like a navy jacket. It's so brushed, and it's got contrasting material at the pockets. It's in perfect condition, a nice navy blue, very classic. I will be having to get that posted when I get home ASAP because it's, it's a heavier weight, like it's in season right now. So that was an excellent find. I was really happy with that. I've been happier with this. I've never found... Um, Lauren, or excuse me, Ralph Lauren, double RL, but I have now. So I spent some time there looking up the tags. The double RL have, there's just a variety of tags, but this is a nice navy blue wool. The lining is quilted. It's a shacket weight. It's a men's size large. It is just a beautiful piece. And double RL goes for good money. So I'm very, 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 very happy that I found this. It was super exciting. I saw that, I was like, crap. I picked up this pair of men's tennis shoes. They're Ultra Boost by Adidas. I looked at comps, knew they do really well, used they do okay. But something, there were multiple men's tennis shoes in the bin I got this out of. The other ones I didn't really pick up, but these are men's size 10. And they're in great condition. Um, so I typically don't pick up tennis shoes unless, cause I just, it's not my house of knowledge. So, but there's something, I just looked at those. And I was like, I, I think those are good. So, and my daughter was digging through and she found this pair of Lululemon leggings for me. They're size four. They've got a lot of, or not a lot, but they have enough wash wear and they've got pet hair on them. So I'll wash them when I get home. But yeah, I mean, I'll never not sell Lululemon. That is actually the only activewear brand that will sell for me. I'm slowly going through my closet and just deleting all the activewear because that's just not what people come to my closet for. It doesn't sell for me. So unless, basically, unless it's Lululemon, it just sits. So if you're in the market for activewear, you can totally check out my closet and make me an offer because I'm slowly getting rid of the stuff. It just, it doesn't sell for me. Got this, this is a J. Jill wool blend zip front grass vest in olive green. It's size extra large. I could probably wear this myself. It's nice, it would look good with a turtleneck. So, um, but I, I looked it over, there's no holes or anything on that. Then I got this, this is stupid. This is just dumb of me. I don't pick up Victoria's Secret anymore. It just doesn't sell. It used to sell, but this is a Victoria's Secret little um, metallic silver glitter effect sort of clutch. So I will either post it probably for $5 or I'll just do it as a gift with purchase for somebody. I've kind of been picking up things that are like this with that in mind. I haven't started doing that yet, but I think it's a nice way to say thanks to people. I used to, I don't send a gift with purchase anymore, but back in 2021, 20, I think mostly 2020, 2021, I would buy these styli, styluses, you know, the things you use with your tablet or your phone in bulk and you could get them really cheap on Amazon. I would just send them with every purchase, no matter you know how much the purchase was in that. But it just, when my volume of sales started increasing and that's when the economy took a dip, I just, it didn't, I did the math on it and it didn't make good business sense, so I stopped. But things like that, I think for special purchases or, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But I like this cute little baby wrap. So this is just a hand knit, that's how it looks on the back and then front, it's got little red flowers um, and it's hooded and it's just a button front like a baby. It's not a baby carrier, but it's like a swaddling thing you would put um, your baby in. And I think it's perfect for like whether we're about to be going into because this is just an old navy scarf. I'll probably post it for $5, but the pattern spoke to me. It's just like a slate blue and black 
lightweight wrap. I think it's rayon. Um, you know, just super easy to wear. This is a vintage men's hat, so it's like a brown. And it's got, like, it's quilted, it's got that flap. And then the tag is just, like you can see, that's absolutely vintage. So it's kind of a niche piece, but it's light enough. It was easy enough to pick up. So then I got these. These are actually St. John's Bay, which is just a J.C. Penny brand. But look at that burgundy boot. They're size nine, and they are really, I mean, I think that's a real stylish, it's not quite a granny boot, but it's a lace-up boot. It's got a little dust there. I'll get that cleaned up. They're in great shape. They're leather. Um, yeah, I think that's those are real lookers. This tulle maxi skirt, it's like a blush pink, and it's full length, so it's like that. And I looked it over. There's like no snags, because I've gotten skirts like this before, and they sell well. There were a couple that actually had snags on them, though. They still sold, but this one's in great shape, and I mean, I think that would be pretty to wear like a a fitted black top with or something. It just kind of understated elegance. And that is it, that's what I got there. I'm really happy with what I got. Um, if I do another batch here, which it sounds like I'm going to this afternoon, I'll bring y'all another update. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by, it means a lot. I really appreciate it. And if this uh, content was interesting and useful, please give me a thumbs up. All right, I'll see y'all soon, bye. I still have the stuff I showed you guys in the other hauls to get in a suitcase. So that Vera Bradley suitcase was almost packed to the tilt. I can squeeze more in there. And then the Roly, or you know, it's a carry-on size. I figured I could fit my first haul and my haul from Savers into that Roly. I'm gonna have to squish everything. But I can still be under the weight limit. Cause like I said, I think I already said with South, I'm flying back with Southwest, which was intentional because I know they have a generous bag policy. So you get your carry-on, you get your personal item, you can have two bags that are under 50 pounds and under 62 inches in dimension. And what they mean by that is length, height, width added up. So this Vera Bradley is 59 inches in dimension. I went to Walmart, I bought a scale because I needed to know where I was at weight-wise, like how much more I could get, was I gonna make it? Because if, if you're over those dimensions, you have to pay 125 and that would make this not worth my while. But um, when I put it on the scale last night, all this weighed, approximately 35 pounds so I could get 15 more pounds in there and I'm gonna go I'm honestly my daughter wants to go back to the bins today she really enjoys it so we're gonna go I'll of course have to be very selective with what I get but if I find another full-size suitcase this is a beautiful bag like I would use this for my own travels there's some for sale on Poshmark but I don't know if I'll sell this I'd have to do it on Facebook marketplace because how do you ship a full-size suitcase but anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. My point is, I, if I could find another full-size suitcase and fill that up to 50 pounds and it was within the dimensions, I would get rid of that uh, check-in size, or I would get rid of the carry-on size bag and just go with two suitcases. So I'll be flying home with tons of stuff. I'm really excited. I'm excited to go back today. Starbucks has half off, so I'm going to treat myself, my daughter, to a good Starbucks because it's still windy and cold here, although it's no longer raining, which is awesome. I'm trying to think if I had anything else to share with you guys. Um, no, I will say, though, that the, the Brooklyn Park Goodwill Outlet was really busy in the afternoon. Like, it was, we barely found, there were two parking spots left, so we got one. Went inside, the place was just totally packed. There were a lot of people. They kept on bringing out new rotations and everybody would just line up and it was, I mean, like sardines, like waiting to jump in there. But it was, I mean, nobody's like, I mean, there were some people that kind of threw shoes when they were going through the shoes. But by and large, it was a great experience. They still had good items in the afternoon. I think in Minnesota, they stopped bringing out new bins at four is what the lady at the Chaska location had told me. So we went at one and there was plenty of fresh items. I got those awesome two men's shacket style things. So, yeah.